Hello, this is the Details Flower software, and today this video is going to discuss the templates within Details. To get started in your top left-hand corner, underneath Company and Event Defaults, is where you will customize your main template. You'll notice it comes preloaded with a template, and you can choose to customize this by changing any of the names, setting your estimated prices, adding new rows, or taking any off. On the left-hand side are some additional worksheet settings for you to continue to customize it accordingly. From your event list, once you create an event, you'll notice when you head into that event in your worksheet section that it has preloaded the template you set in your company settings. From here, you can customize this worksheet area to suit your client Alexa. Once again, you can add any additional rows or take any off. And from your design board underneath menu and edit worksheet, you will find those worksheet settings to add any additional line items. If you had customized this worksheet area and want to save it as an additional template, to the one in your company settings, you can click save at the bottom where it says save as select new template and name it accordingly. All of your templates will be found in the top right hand corner underneath options and load template. Some good examples will be like corporate versus funeral or maybe you make like a hotel template versus the farm venue. Templates can also be completed events. For example, if I head to my event list and had an event that was completed that I wanted to use for Alexa, let's say Bob. Bob's event was beautiful and Alexa basically wanted the same scenario. I load in Bob's event, choose at the bottom to save it as a template, name that template accordingly, Heading back to the event list, I can go back into Alexa's event and choose to load that template in from the top right hand corner under Options and Load Template. Once this template has loaded, I can change anything within it and save it as its own version for Alexa. Maybe she has additional bridesmaids, and these bridesmaids want more anemones and Noah Silby. A great feature in our software is the option to favorite all these items that you're using within your recipe to the design board. You do that by selecting options in the top right hand corner and selecting favorite all items. This is great because you may have sections that you need to design for this new customer that you did not for the previous template. Now you can drag and drop these ingredients over and start to create additional recipes. In addition to favoriting the items, you can also favorite the recipes. We do this by opening the recipe, choosing in our arrow up and down recipe options, to favorite the recipe. This will also save us time, so if we needed to design the toss bouquet and it was very similar to the bridal bouquet, I can drag and drop this recipe over and make any adjustments to suit the toss section. From there, I simply save at the bottom as a version for the client Alexa. I hope that this video has helped. If you have any additional questions, you can visit the top left-hand corner underneath Support, where we have our Support Center and additional tutorials.